Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday. Um, I wanted to make a quick video on the sweetest new baby that I just completed. Um, this is a uh, Dina by Telida Pinero. I think that's how you pronounce the name. This is the COA. This baby is a small limited edition. Um, this one is 295 out of 300. So that is how the little baby this little bub has turned out. I think he's turned out so adorable. I just love his eyes. I think it's my favorite. And of course, chubby cheeks. But I think the eyes just complete this whole look on for this sweet little baby. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys his details. Um, he is now available on Reborns.com and uh, on my Patty's uh, Reborn Nursery page on Facebook. I also have him on my Patty's Arbor and Creations. I haven't shared him on any of the other pages yet, but if you are interested in him, he is on those pages and he is at an amazing price as well. Um, I have him on for a sale price. Since he was born around Valentine's Day, I thought I'd give you guys a great sale. So this is, um, so this is his little legs. Show you his little legs. I really love how his mottling turned out. As you can see, it's got some pinky mottling. He's got a lot of colors, but I really made the pinky mottling uh, kind of more prominent because he's got that beautiful, like, strawberries and cream skin tone. This baby is a newborn size, but I think he's great at, I think he's a bigger newborn. He is 20 inches long, so I think he could fit um, even zero to three months as well. So that's his little feet, as you can see. He's not too, too pink, but he's got some pink. And you can see the blues underneath his feet. I made that more prominent. And then that's his little nails. I think he turned out really sweet. I love his little fat folds right here. So cute. Um, he was wearing this outfit uh, on camera um, when I did the uh, photography earlier. So that's what he's wearing. I don't think I'm take I'm sending him home in this, even though he looks amazing in this outfit. This is actually um, one of my personal um, outfits. Uh, that came from Spain, so it means a lot to me. Um, but yeah, this is uh, most likely he's not going to go home with this, but he'll be going home in a different layaway. And here are his uh, hands. This baby was also painted with Genesis heat set paints. Um, and then he was, uh, I used a matte and satin varnish to seal him. So, and then is his other hand. I think he turned out really adorable. Okay, and then you can see little scratches. I added little scratches to him. I even added a little scratch right here. Um, and then I also added like a little tiny heel prick. But the heel prick is very, um, as you can see, it's very faint. It's not so prominent. It's more faint. It's not as dark. And then his little face. I just love his little face, guys. Um, this is it is uh, this is natural light. Um, it is showing pretty true to color. However, in person, he has more of the creamy, um, pinky complexion. Um, for some reason, on camera, it's showing a little bit more yellows. I don't know why it does that. My camera does that. Even on my own skin tone, it it turns it more. Um, even though I have an olive skin tone, I'm more fair and it's making me look more tan. It's really weird. I hate the camera settings. But that is him. I love his eyes. He's got beautiful full-blown glass eyes from Germany. Um, they are the really expensive glass eyes. So he's got amazing, amazing eyes. Um, and then this is his painted hair. I think his hair turned out beautiful. It's a light brown, but I um, use um, many different 
uh, colors to achieve this tone and many layers, not just one layer. I do have at least three to four layers of hair um, baked within each. So I'll bake every layer and then I'll do another color. So that's how I achieve this. I really love how it turned out. Um, and then his eyebrows are barely there, painted on eyebrows, very lightly done, more darker on the, more prominent on the edges and more light in going inwards. And then he also has lashes, as you can see, I rooted on lashes, um, one to two hairs per hole. So he's got some light brown lashes um, that is rooted. And then I also gave him some uh, milia. And inside his nose, it's shaded um, with different tones, different crease colors. And in the center, I darkened it more. I didn't give him an open faux nose. I just darkened it almost like an open faux nose where it looks like it would be opened. That's why it looks darker on the center. So it almost gives you an illusion of open faux nose. And then there's his lips. And you can see um, it's glossed um, in the center and on where there would be like a lip, like a milk blister. Then he's got some capillaries. Those got some capillaries on his eyelids as well. And he's got some scratches and stuff and uh, stroke bites. And then that's his hair, guys. That's his hair. I think he turned out beautiful. I think he turned out amazing. I'm really, really happy on how he turned out. I really love him, guys. He is beautiful. He's such a beautiful baby. Um, If you were really interested in him, he's at an amazing deal right now. Like, um, I wanted to give you guys a great deal because it is Valentine's Day. Um, So he at, is at an amazing, amazing deal. Take advantage of it while you can. Um... I, if he, I don't know, I may keep the price that way, but if not, I may have to increase it because I am, he's not, he's not normally the price that I would, uh, sell my dolls at, normally sell them at much more higher prices, but I wanted to, uh, give you guys a good deal, especially with it being, uh, Valentine's, so if you're interested, I'm serious, <laughs> um, grab him up, because he is just so cute, he, uh, he's so adorable, even me, even I don't want to let him go, because <laughs> he's so cute. Um, I'll eventually be making myself a baby because, um, I'm really loving my work. Every baby I put out is getting harder and harder to sell. So yeah, even now when I make babies, I don't have the intention on selling them. Um, never had the intention on selling them because I normally do this as a hobby, but I know that people like to own my work. So I like to, uh, give everybody the opportunity to be able to, uh, buy one of my dolls. So and no, guys, I only sell uh, through Canada and U.S. I don't sell um, international yet. I am hoping to do that um, maybe hopefully throughout this year, maybe later on this year. I will um, eventually do that. But right now, I only do it through Canada and U.S. And my um, normally, I charge um, for shipping for U.S. Normally, I charge uh, at a lower price. I always wind up having to pay out of pocket. Um prices so like I normally charge $50 Canadian for um for US and I normally always have to charge like I always have to pay extra um when I do send out my dolls so you're paying most of it but I normally have to pay extra so I have to start charging more money on um shipping uh so this doll I am charging 55 Canadian because hopefully that is enough um the problem is with the states, every place is different. Some places are uh, $60 Canadian, others are $70 Canadian. Um, so it's always hard to figure out how much. I, that's Now I understand why a lot of sellers that ship to U.S. will charge $100 Canadian because really it, it is almost that amount to charge that much um, to, sell, uh, to send it to U.S., so I am trying to price my tra uh, my shipping prices more accordingly. Um, that's why when I sell through Facebook, I normally just add the price of shipping into the sales of my dolls. I don't do it separately. But on Reborns.com, I normally have to set a price. Um, so yeah, it. I don't know if I can... I think I could do it no shipping or say free shipping, but just set it into the amount on my price i would have to figure it out but anyways guys um i hope you guys love this little bub um 
he is available now. He is live. So if you are interested in him, go check out his photos. Um, and yeah, hope you guys take care and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.